Okay, welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this one, uh, I'm going to show people how to modify, do simple modification of Joomla templates. Um, it's one of the questions I get asked most on the forums, so I thought I'd go ahead and, um, and make a, a slightly in-depth uh, tutorial. There's a number of uh, assumptions I need to make about your level of understanding uh, during this tutorial. Um, the first one is that I need you to understand that uh, although Joomla is uh, a very easy to use um, development platform, it is exactly that, a development platform. It's not a point and click um, uh, piece of software, the variables and you just uh, just install it on your computer and away, away you go. Uh, therefore I need you to be comfortable with uh, things such as editing um, uh, small pieces of code. I need you to be comfortable with um, FTP uh, protocols in terms of uh, uploading files to your web server. I need to be even comfortable with hosting and, and web serving and that type of thing. If you're not comfortable with those, perhaps uh, it's best to go and learn that first before you do these uh, tutorials because some of the things might get a little bit mixed. Uh, the first couple of things I'm going to need you to do is to change some of the ways um, you use your computer. Uh, the reason is it's my experience that this will help you greatly in terms of being able to modify and edit uh, Joomla templates. The first one is the most significant change. Uh, if you look up, if you have a web browser open and you look up towards the top, you'll probably notice it says for most of you Windows Internet Explorer. This is the first change we're going to, to make. Uh, to show you how to get that, just open up your Internet Explorer browser and type in there www.getfirefox.com that should open up a page that uh, will detect what platform you're getting that from in terms of whether it's Windows, Mac or, or Linux and uh, you'll need to download that and install it. After installing it, it'll probably ask you a question something along the lines of do you wish to make uh, Firefox your default browser? It's a good idea to click yes to that. Uh, get used to Firefox. Firefox has had, has had tab browsing for a long time. You notice that uh, Windows now has it. Uh, the Firefox one does it still even better. The reason I need you to use Firefox is because of the add-ons that it has available uh, and they're the add-ons that I'm going to get you to install now. So we'll assume you've gone ahead and, and uh, installed Firefox and you've made it your default browser. I want you to uh, launch that please and once it's opened up uh, you should start to become familiar with um, the uh, Firefox Oops, uh, interface. Uh, it had some really, really cool features. Um, like, for instance, instead of having to type www.joomla, if you just start typing Joomla, it'll bring up all the different options of, of what you've had uh, open before. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other features about it, and no doubt you'll get used to it. Uh, there's a number of um, uh, heaps. I mean, I can't even begin to imagine how many add ons or plugins, sometimes people call them extensions, plugins, add ons. Uh, that are available for Firefox. There's a, a few that I'm going to want you to install. Now you can either Google for these or you can just in the latest version of Firefox, I'm not sure whether this was available in previous versions, but certainly in the latest version you can search right from within uh, the add-ons component. So if you open up add-ons so that was to tools and then add-ons and then click on get add-ons and in the uh, search bar here there's a number of them that I'm going to want you to do. Uh, the first one is Firebug. So type in there Firebug and click search. Uh, this is the most significant one that you'll use and it'll become, um, if you choose to go down the path of develop developing in, in Joomla a lot, this will become something you will not be able to work without. So click on Add to Firefox for that. And it will go ahead and ask you if you want to install it. Once that's installing, uh, you can now search for the next one. Uh, the next one is Measure. Oops. Measure it. There it is. Measure it, all one word. Again, add to Firefox. Install. The next one is Web Developer. Uh, maybe we'll put a space in between those two. There we go, that one there. 
Uh, Web Developer is, is similar in many ways to Firebug, but it uh, I use Firebug as my as my most common, but Web Developer has some very nice tools that I, again I couldn't live without. So I install that one, and the last one is I can never think what it's called, so I'll just type in color. Uh, Colorzilla, there it is, that one there, Color Zilla, sorry, Colorzilla. Uh, so click on that one and add to Firefox. And install, and you can see just how easy they install, it's not a, it's not a big deal. Once you have them all, then up the top here, restart Firefox, click on that, and that should go ahead and restart. And that's confirmed that we now have four new add-ons have been installed. If we click on extensions, we can see Measure It, we can see Web Developer, and we can see Colorzilla and Firebug. Okay, let's briefly go through and explain what each of them do. Um, in most cases, uh, the the uh, the icon to activate the plugin will appear either in the status bar here. That's Colorzilla, that one there. That's measure it, that one there. And over the other side, that's firebug, that one there. And up the top, we get a whole new toolbar for web developer. And there's some awesome features in web developer. Let's just start with web, de web developer. A few real quick features it can do. Um, first the thing that it can do, which you'll find very, very useful, is it can simply resize your window nice and quick. Now I can't show you what that looks like in the full screen because uh, 800 by 600 is still bigger than my recording area but you can also specify your own so you can go in and click on uh, resize so what was that thing there called uh, edit resize dimensions and click on add and type in there um, uh, say for instance 1024 by 768 which is a very common uh, resolution screen resolution so we'll type 1024 768 and of course here you could just type whatever description you want you could you could put in their standard uh, laptop like that click on OK OK again and we go to resize and there it is standard laptop and that resizes it to about the standard laptop which is what I'm working on right now um, as you go along with your developing you'll find that that's a really handy thing to do you need to be able to uh, resize your window accurately to make sure that your template is fitting within not just your uh, viewpoint but uh, your your viewers viewpoint and the most common the two most common um, uh, screen resolutions still are 800 by 600 and 1024 by 768 uh, so that that's just one and I'm, I'm just showing you uh, just have some very very simple uh, functions that each one can do uh, just really quickly it can also um, uh, for example uh, hide all images so you can see what your template looks like without any images um, we'll go into that later on why you'd want to do that uh, let's just move along and we'll go and show you what measure it does measure it's when we click on there it's a really cool tool it allows you to measure um, physical dimensions within a screen element so let's say this um, uh, Joomla logo here, we want to see approximately how big that is. If we click and drag an area around, like that for example, we can now see that that dimension is, uh, is 249 pixels by 57. And we can even drag that around to see where else that would fit. Okay, where, where else we could put a logo. Okay, uh, click on close click on the little icon again it turns it off really cool feature we use that lots later on colorzilla we click on that and anywhere where we click on the screen for example we want to know what red that one is there we click on it once we come down here we notice the icons changed right mouse click and it gives us not only the RGB colors but it also gives us um, the hexadecimal uh, either with or without the H and allows you to copy them uh, it allows you uh, a whole bunch of other um, uh, uh, color browsers, uh, sorry, color wheel browser, uh, all sorts of things. Uh, very, very. <laughs>